Okay, ganang araw po. Let's solve the sample problem here regarding Mohr circle. So for the stress soil element shown using Mohr circle, at the soil element natin, compute the major principal stress, compute the minor principal stress, the normal stress on plane CE, and the shear stress on the plane CE. Where in CE is the plane of failure. Okay, so using more circle, we have a given soil element here. So, ito, ito transfer lang natin yung mga points dyan sa ating more circle. So, para may drawing natin more circle, meron tayong assumptions. So, assume natin that compressive force, on, that is compressive force, that is positive and then counterclockwise direction for the rotation of the shear stress is positive also or pwede nyo rin i-assume that yung mga tension force natin is positive and then dapat ang kasama niya clockwise motion for the rotation of the shear stress is positive hindi po pwedeng compressive positive then clockwise positive ang magsama either of these two conditions only Ito yung magkasama, ito yung magkasama. Assume natin na compressive force ay positive, counterclockwise direction for the rate, rotation of the shear stress ay positive. So, analyze natin yung soil element na binigay. So, yung sigma y natin, with respect to soil element, it tends to compress the soil element. Therefore, this is positive. 150, compressive force, positive also. And then, 50 kilopascal, and dito siya. Ito yung counterpart niya dito. So, yung rotation niya, counterclockwise. And this is positive. And then, 50, rotation niya, clockwise. So, this is negative. So, so this is the axis of the shear stress. This is the axis of the normal stress. So, drawing lang natin mismo. We have two points na makukuha. Lot, positive 50 and positive 50. Positive 50. Positive 50. And then, next one, positive 150. And then, negative 150. Negative 50, rather. So, this is 50. 50, this is 150, negative 50. So, combine the two points. Oops. Pangit lang yung pagka-combine natin. And then, that is, or that will serve as the diameter of our more circle. Go lang tayo ng circle. Okay, so that is our circle and this is our center. As you can notice, this is 50, this is 150. So by inspection, the center, the location of the center from the origin is 100. Tama po? Or you can use the formula that center is equal to sigma x plus sigma y over 2. What is sigma x? Center therefore is sigma x. 150 plus sigma y that is 50 over 2 so that is 200 over 2 center is 100 kilopascal from the origin but you can use inspection madali lang naman i-analyze yung more circle natin okay yung first unknown natin is the major or the maximum principal stress ang principal stress natin ang principal axis natin ay the axis of normal stress so therefore, it is asking for the maximum normal stress. And then also the minor or minimum normal stress. Nasaan ba yung maximum natin nandito? This is sigma max. And this is sigma minimum. So paano natin makukuha yung mga point na yan? Para makuha natin, since na tayo center, get this 
length. Anong length na yan? The radius. Tama po. So, we can say that sigma max is equivalent to center plus the radius. And then, the location of the minimum normal stress is equivalent to the location of the center minus the length of the radius. So, since na lang tayo yung center dito, problema na lang natin yung radius ng Mohr circle. Para makuha yun, consider this triangle. Or consider this right triangle. Maalim man sa dalawang yan, parehas lang yun. Since this is radius also. Considering this triangle, this is the radius. Let this be theta. This is 50, 100, therefore the length is 50. This is 50, this is 0, so therefore the length is 50. So we can calculate radius by Pythagorean theorem. That is the square root of 50 squared plus 50 squared. So R is 50 square root of 2. Or that is 70.71 kilo pascal. So, makukuha na natin maximum and minimum normal stress. Therefore, sigma max is center 100 plus R 70.71, 170.71 kilo pascal. And then, minimum normal stress is center minus the radius 70.71 kilo pascal. Therefore, that is equivalent to 29.29 kilo pascal. And that will be our first two unknown requirements. First and second part of the unknown. And then the third and the fourth part is the compute the normal and the shear stress on the plane of failure CE. <coughs> Excuse me. To do that, analyze natin given soil element natin. Yung plane of failure natin will start from this axis. Ano yung point na to? Ito din yun, 50, 150, 50. And papunta sa plane of failure, counterclockwise direction. So gagayahin lang natin yun. Dito sa more circle, mag-start din tayo kay 150, negative 50. Since nag-start siya doon. And then, gagalaw tayo ng counterclockwise also. Ang kaibahan, if this is 12 degrees, ang movement sa more circle ay twice the value of theta. This is theta, 12 degrees. Kasi so, rin, pag 12 degrees to, ang kanyang direction dito ay, o yung motion niya ay 24 degrees. Counterclockwise also. Okay, hindi pa natin alam kung nasa yung 24 degrees. Compute natin yung theta. What is theta? As you can see here, 50-50 can say that theta is 45 degrees. Or our tangent of 50 over 50, our tangent of 1 is 45 degrees. So, if this is 45 degrees, this is also 45 degrees. So, gagalaw ng 24, nandito pa rin sa axis na to. This is what we call 24 degrees. Twice the value of 12, counterclockwise. Okay. Kung saan tayo mag-last na point, nandun yung ating kinukuha. The normal stress and the shear stress at plane CE, at the plane of failure. So, paano tingin ko kunin yun? Consider now this right triangle. So, pag kinonsider natin right triangle na yun, let this be our right triangle. This is the center. This is sigma CE. And then point na yun. And the shear stress CE. This is the radius. Let this be X. Let this be Y. Ano tong angle na to? This is 45. This is 24. Ang matitira dito ay 21 degrees. May gets po. So, compute the X and then the value of y para makuha natin yung sigma ce. Dahil yung sigma ce tsaka tau ce, analyze natin, sigma ce is, nandito sa part na to, 
So that is center plus this length. Kaling length tayo yung x. C plus x. And then, shear stress at the plane of failure that is equivalent to y. May center na tayo. Compute the value of x and y to get these values. Okay. So that will be for x, cosine of 21 degrees, x over r, 70.71. So what is the value of x? That will be equivalent to 66.014 kilopascal. And then taking sine function of the angle 21 degrees, opposite siya, y over the radius 70.71. So, by cross multiplication, what is the value of y? 25.34 kilo pascal. Therefore, shear stress at C is 25.34 kilo pascal. And then, normal stress at the plane of failure C E center, 100 plus x. So, that will be a total of 166.014 kilo pascal and this will be the requirement for this given problem okay additional question so halos parehas lang to kanina yung kanina problem natin is eto pinaliktad lang natin mismo yung direction ng ating 50 kilo pascal dito kanina compressive ngayon ginawa natin siyang tension Okay, and we are required to compute for the maximum and then minimum normal stress. So, by the aid of more circle pa din. Okay, assume pa rin natin na compressive force ay positive and then counterclockwise direction is positive. Okay, so 50 kPa is tension. So, this is negative. 50 kPa dito, motion ay counterclockwise. So, this is positive. And then, 150, compressive, positive. 50 kPa, ang rotation, clockwise, this is negative. Dami lamok. Okay. So, plot these points, these two points sa ating more circle. So, pag-plinat natin. Assume natin, this is negative 50. And then, 50 negative 50 and 50 and the other one is 150 and then 50 combine natin dalawang points pag kinombine natin dalawang points that will serve as the diameter of our circle or more circle Create natin yung circle natin. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, nasa yung maximum tsaka minimum natin na normal stress? And dito sa points na yan. So, this is sigma max. And this is sigma minimum. Okay, so to compute that formula, sigma max is the center, location of the center plus this length, which is the radius. And the location of the minimum stress is the location of the center minus this length, which is the radius. So compute the center. What is the center? So that is sigma x plus sigma y over 2. Ano sigma x natin? 150. Ano sigma y natin? Negative 50 minus 50 over 2. So that is 100 over 2, 50 kilo pascal. So yung center natin is 50 kilo pascal. This is negative 50. This is 150. So, para makuha natin yung radius, meron tayong center, Consider natin itong right triangle na yan. This is 50. This is 50 center. This is 150. Therefore, this length is 100 kilopascal. And this is our radius. 
to the complete the radius, that is Pythagorean theorem, square root of 50 squared plus 100 squared. So what is the value of the radius that will be equivalent to? 111.803 kilopascal. So computing now, maximum and minimum normal stress, maximum is center 50 plus R, that is 161.803 kilopascal. And for the minimum normal stress, that is center 50 minus R, 111.803 that will give us a value of negative 61.803 kilo pascal and that will be our solution for this given soil element